The man at the center of Rodney Reed's defense takes the stand to defend himself. Reed's defense team alleges that it was Jimmy Fennell who killed Stacey Stites and not their client. The Court of Criminal Appeals has given Reed a chance to prove his innocence in this appeals hearing taking place in Bastrop. In 1998, Reed was convicted of the 1996 abduction, rape, and murder of Stacey Stites, Fennell's fiance. KV's Jenny Lee sat in on that testimony that took all day. She's been there all week, live in Bastrop for us today. Jenny, it sounds like it was an intense day in the courtroom today. Intense and long, Quita and Brian, and at times contentious and a little bit emotional. Back in 2017, Jimmy Fennell pled the fifth and wouldn't answer any questions when it came to the death of Stacey Stite. So when he waived his right to plead the fifth today and waived his right to have an attorney inside that courtroom, the defense attorney and the judge wanted to make sure he knew what he was doing. Asked him three separate times. Fennell, are you sure you're waiving your rights? Do you know what you're doing? Fennell answered three separate times he knew what he was doing because anything he said in court today could be used against him uh, in, in a future date. So they wanted to make sure that he was giving up his right, and Fennell said he knew what he was doing. All right, cameras again, not allowed inside the court, so we have forensic arti artist renderings for you. So I wanted to show you that. And these forensic artist renderings show extra deputies standing between Roddy Reed and Jimmy Fennell today. Uh, also, two defense attorneys sat between them as well. Now, Fennell denied all allegations from the defense witnesses who de testified that Fennell made racist comments about Rodney Reed and that they, uh, he was abusive towards Stacey Stites. Fennell called all 16 witnesses liars. Fennell got emotional when he talked about the morning Stacey Stites disappeared. Fennell said when he saw the truck he shared with Stacey, he knew something had happened to her that morning of April 23rd, 1996. Fennell uh, said he started crying when the state asked why he couldn't marry Stacey Stites. He looked down, he paused, and he said, because Rodney Reed murdered Stacey Stites. Now, Reed sat emotionless, facing forward, but there were gasps from the gallery. His brother Roderick got up and walked out. Earlier this week, we heard from Stites' sister, Deborah Oliver, who said she believes Reed is 100% still the killer. Reed's brother told us that's understandable. I'm not mad at them, nor is any member of my family mad at them. We sympathize for them, and we just hope that they uh, open their eyes to the truth. Because if they really want the truth, they need to have an open mind and look at the evidence. And with Fennell's testimony, the defense rested today. The state starts its case tomorrow morning. Back to you. KBU's Jenny Lee live in Bastrop for us tonight again. Jenny, great work as always. Thanks for that report.